For years, the maritime industry has relied on weather forecasts, which are readily accessible. But when it comes to oceans and tidal forecasts, very little information has been available until now. Sandy Kay went to Hobart in Tasmania to meet Tide Tech, a supplier of oceanographic data, to find out what has changed. Anyone who's had to traverse the oceans will tell you that the journey would be easier if they could get reliable information about the ocean's mood before they set off. An Australian company called Tide Tech is making that possible. Tide Tech is a one-stop shop for detailed, accurate and validated met ocean data, including tidal and ocean currents, weather, waves and sea temperatures that can save seagoers time, money and fuel. Its founders, former UK government oceanographer Roger Proctor and ex-professional sailor Penny Hare, have been leading a team of specialist developers and navigators towards the creation of this industry-leading data platform since 2008. Penny had seen an opportunity to provide recreational sailors with information about the ocean. And in my job as an a, as a oceanographer, coastal oceanographer in the UK, then I'd always thought that a lot of the work that we did had a much wider applicability than, than for the science side of it, that the public um, had a right, basically, to have more access to some of the scientific results that the global community of scientists produce. Tide Tech developed its technological capability by partnering with various scientific institutions that already produce forecast data. The company collates this information and adds its own modelling and mapping to fill in the gaps for areas where little or no information exists. They then produce comprehensive and accessible cloud-hosted data sets that the public and commercial shipping find most valuable. What the commercial shipping uh, community are looking for is information to improve the efficiency of, of their business. Route optimisation is particularly important. Using weather and oceanographic data from Tide Tech, Finnish company Napa has been able to show that it's actually the longer route that will get these ships to their destination more quickly with less fuel and less emissions. This is a really interesting application from Austal, who's a shipbuilder, builds um, aluminium uh, catamarans or fast ferries. This platform allows them to look at what's happening in much more detail and to help their ferry customers to provide a smoother, safer journey, but also to save fuel and reduce costs. After years of hard work, Penny believes the company still has a way to go. It's an enormously complex process and it's taken us a couple of years to build the systems to enable us to do this. Once we know where we're going to model, then we need to go and get some information about the depth of the water. Some places are very difficult. So for example, we're building a model um, for the Olympic Games in Japan at present. And that's proved to be a very, very tricky place to model because you have three-dimensional processes going on. So application is really limitless. Anybody who uses the water could use this data. As defence advocate for Tasmania, Rear Admiral Steve Gilmore couldn't agree more. It's got applicability in so many, um, so many spaces and, um, and because of the, the way they've uh, operationalised it or made it understandable and available to such a broad cross-section of the maritime community, it will become more and more useful. In my seagoing experience, I've not seen something that fuses or brings together all that information. If you can go from point A to point B more efficiently, um, so burning less fuel, um, taking less time, there is clearly uh, an economic benefit. The information we provide is, is useful to pretty well everybody who makes use of the marine environment. So there's all sorts of reasons why people actually make use of this information.